Hello, welcome to today's video. I hope you are sit, I hope you sit comfortably, sit back and relax and enjoy. Today I am going to be reviewing the Jaguar XJ13 from 1966. And before I start, I would like to say why don't you subscribe? It's free, it really helps out. And there's all you can also go to my Discord server, link for that in the description if you join. Highly appreciated. Now, check your XJ13 from 1966. Only one of these were ever built, and they can get some replicas. This one model for this may be a replica. It might not be though. And it has 502 horsepower, 378 pounds feet of torque. It weighs two and a half thousand pounds. It's not very good weight distribution, but it has got a five liter naturally aspirated V12 engine, which is gorgeous. Indeed, it is a very nice engine. Color options it's only green because it's British and it's an old Jag. Right, here we are. Just some folds of this one. I just want to show you something. So, door is quite Sweet to it and very nice sounding. Same uh, tail lights as an E type Jaguar. Other door. Different eek to it this time. But is the, this, this is, this is the, the best part of the Force Vista mode for this. Yeah. Of course, that engine is magnificent. 5 litre. V12, but more importantly, what is happening with the engine cover here? It sort of has become a roof for the driver. Now, I'm going to drive this to the main festival from Sandy Festival off road here. Baja Baja Festival, see what it's like. And immediately, it's quick. Oh my god, it's quick. It's, it's quick. Oh, a lot quicker than the Ford I was just driving. Oh, that's a fence. Yeah, never drive in first person because, yeah. Look, okay, look at all the dials. They're all labelled. Look at the body by... Wait, see, what does that say? Abbey panels lit. Don't know what it says below that, but, yep. Yeah. It's a very quick car. <laughs> We're already doing 100 miles an hour. This thing's from 1966. Ooh. Let's go. Look at it. Ooh. <laughs> it's so, so nice to drive. Even if you don't like this car and you have the premium edition of the game, drive it stock. It is just magnificent. The handling, the acceleration, the sound of the engine, even though you can't really hear it, it's quite quiet, is magnificent. I'm doing 170 miles an hour. Yeah, it's kind of quick this thing and it also looks magnificent because it's a 1960s Jaguar all old Jags oh, most old Jags look magnificent and this most definitely isn't an exception to that tuning Upgrades for this, so conversion, so engine swaps, we have one, which is the 3.0, oh, no, 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 display is not showing me, uh, the 4.7 litre V12, which is quite a bit more powerful than this, and then we can also twin turbo this which takes us to the top of a class somehow decreases the braking and handling by adding turbos i do not know i have no idea how that works 
uh, an appearance. I'm just going to take a guess. Yes, it is just the moustache. And that's at a very low angle indeed. And that's really it. Now, today I am thinking we will do an A class race build. Maybe keep it rear wheel drive. A um, top speed tune and a drag tune. Because this could be. No, it won't. I thought it could be the fastest drag car, but then I realised the engine swap, which was only a normal V12. Well, not even normal V12, it was a 4.7 litre. Now, I do my own build for this, take it round a circuit of sorts, see what time I post. And this is just going to be um, nim, 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 Horizon Rivals, because obviously you can't select what class you want to race in, and then should do drag race and top speed shoots. I've done my upgrades, we now have 505 horsepower, we weigh a little bit more just because I've put on some wider tyres. And yeah, so there isn't really much you can do for the tuning of this car if you want an A-class race because it already starts off quite near the top of A-class. But it's still rear-wheel drive. Not all-wheel drive, which I quite like. Now, I do have another A-class race, a car's a Volvo. That has over 700 horsepower. This is 200 horsepower down. That's a Volvo. This is in Sixth's race car, which, as you should know if you have any sort of common sense about cars is quite a lot lighter so we shall see as the Rick and Morty Hillman, no, Hillman Austin Healy drives off very slowly what this is like at hopefully on road racing if we can find a server if not and if I be not patient enough a Horizon Rivals Okay, right, let's try this again, and hopefully... Do it properly. BMW. Let's see if I can be him. I think this is fail race. Yes, it is fail race, right. Okay. Rear wheel drive, how can I do it? I've got stock tyres on this still. But still very, very light. Oh. Let's go. Oh, God. Right, start of the flying lap. Right, there we go. Right, that's awful. That's also awful, Misty Apex. Miles.
I think that may have been my quickest lap so far. I'm not too sure. This is this one. Final lap. Don't think I'm going to beat him, but let's see what time I can set. This is going to be my quickest so far by quite a while. And then 103 dead, that was. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat that. I'm happy with a 103 dead. I haven't beaten him by any means, but a 103 dead. I am happy with. I'm going to check whereabouts in the standings I am. I haven't been in Fairways, but I do know Fairways is a very good driver and is definitely better than me. Because he's beaten me quite a few times. I've beaten him once. I've said that. I've beaten him once, but he's beaten me many, many more times than me. I've beaten him. So. Uh, I just, just, oh, look at 0.7 of a second. Uh, that's actually quite a bit. You saw how much quicker that BMW was. Anyway. See what time where I am in the standings for that event. Okay, so I, out of I'm in the top one percent. I'm three thousand. That's good. That's really good, actually. I'm surprised I ever got. Th I'm only three thousandths out of nearly th five hundred thousand. Ah, I'm, I'm. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but okay. Exact same Audi RS4, BMW M2, BMW M1, 1M. Yeah, pretty good times. So and now, I'm thinking we may do a drag tune and do what we did with the Morris Minor video, which was not Morris Minor, POP50, which was my last video, which isn't up when I'm uh, actually making this, but it will be up very soon. And that is to do a couple of free row ones to see if anyone else at the drag strip, and then I shall uh, do an actual drag race. There's a top speed one though, we can have that for later. On this tune by Lakozaxi. That's definitely not how you pronounce your name, but I'm sorry. It's the only one I've seen which is in S2 class, so obviously it's better in every way. Detect the sarcasm, please. Uh, it has a thousand one hundred horsepower. Form with five hundred and two, it has stock, and it's five hundred five there. That's because mine's modified. Yeah. I'm surprised it can go two hundred miles an hour, but when it's basically stock, I was surprised by that. But yeah, see how quick this is. Definitely not as quick as the. Uh, Lamborghini thingy, but we'll see how close it actually is. But oh, one person's turned up and they disappeared. So what I'm going to do instead is do a normal drag race. But before we actually do that, no, I did have a voice crack there. I think I am going to see what sort of speed this thing can get through the speed trap at the other end while. Obviously, starting from the drag start line, so just line up very carefully. There we go. And well, let's go. 
Now it's already 150 miles an hour. That's 160, 170, 180, and then they're going 200 miles an hour. I didn't, what was that? I didn't see it. 202 miles an hour, I believe I saw there. So that's quick. Now I'm going to do the actual drag race itself. Okay, here we go. There's a Corvette next to me. Some other stuff. A couple of Jaguars. Oh, come on! I've got. Oh, I've got the top end on. Oh, why did the thing have to disappear? Didn't know when I have to change gear. Oh, 14.4. I'll try that again. What, was, what did the GT40 get? Because we were 14.3. Wow, I'm going to try I'm gonna try that again. I could beat the GT40. I could beat them. Alright. Fourth gear. Don't think I have to change from here. Ooh, that was so close. Yes, beat them that time. Even though I had a slower time than them on the first time. <laughs> Didn't change gear. Don't change gear. That's what's I learned. Fourteen. Oh my god, <laughs> we got the exact same time. Ah, and two mm, fairly different cars. But they got the exact same time. My god. So from that, I drew a full GT40, which is very nice, but I did win because obviously I'm better. Now, it's turn 9 for some reason. I am going to do find a top speed tune for the Jaguar X. J. Uh, yep, the XJ thirteen. So by Mr. Hush Crush, uh, it says it's go two hundred and seventy-two point six miles per hour. Now that's very quick. Question is, can I actually go two hundred and seventy-two point six miles an hour? I shall find that out. And can it go quicker than that? Right, here we are, end of the motorway. Let's go. Let's see what sort of speed we can... I was going to say, see what sort of speed we can get, but obviously there's a thing there which... I didn't think it was that wide. Right. Oh, turn. there we go. Right. That's already 210 miles an hour. That's the car's original, well, let's say original top speed when I modified it for A class. So, so, okay, we're already doing 250 miles an hour. 260 miles an hour. 270 miles an hour. 271. Quite easy. Oh, 272 miles an hour, and we're not even at the steeper downhill section yet. Okay, it's just oh, got air. That's the first time I've ever got an air on uh, the motorway. Easily sitting at two seven two six thousand up. Uh, six thousand eleven thousand up. There's a seventh gear as well. Probably shouldn't have done that because that's completely ruined my. Two seven two, come on. Okay, right. Two seven one, gonna get two seven two. Can we get two seven three? Two seven two point four four. Two seven three. Two seven four. Two seven five. I saw there. Could have got to two seven six, but I w wanted to make the corner. Two hundred and seventy-five miles an hour. That's quick. That's very quick. Not him. 
275 miles an hour. Now, that will be the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed. As I said at the beginning, I hope you were as uncomfortable with right? this video. It's all about viewer experience. Now, I hope you I hope you did enjoy the video. Now, you can go to my Discord server. There's a link for that in the description. This is where this is streamed live. I also have a Twitch channel. There's a link for that in the description as well. And you can subscribe to the YouTube channel which you are watching this on. Hopefully it's my YouTube channel, not James May, not anyone else's. Otherwise, that would be quite embarrassing. But, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe, and goodbye.